Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even if my feelings grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got talk, that is real cheap but it's really gold cost I'm trying to get these ends, building bios with my friends I'm about handling my business, no TV Everything I say in this video is alleged, it is in my opinion and it is for entertainment purposes only Hello YouTube family, it's DeMarie TV Please like, comment, and subscribe to the video, you guys. I'm new to YouTube. Every like and subscribe that I get, it helps me get higher in the algorithm. And I always forget to ask you guys in the front of the video and I wait till the end and I miss it. <laughs> so would you please do me a huge favor and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Good morning, Marie TV family. So I wanted to follow up with you on the Lizzo lawsuit that I told you guys about yesterday night. So Lizzo's come out and made a statement and her statement reads as follows. These last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My worth ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. Usually I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and are too outrageous not to be addressed. These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that, they, that their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. As an artist, I have always been very passionate about what I do. I take my music and performances seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put out the best art that represents me and my fans. With passion comes hard work and high standards. Sometimes I have to make hard decisions, but it's never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable or like they aren't valued as an important part of the team. I am not here to be looked at as a victim, but I'm also not the villain that people and the media have portrayed me to be these last few days. I am very open with my sexuality and expressing myself, but I cannot accept or allow people that use that openness to make me out to be something I am not. There is nothing I take more seriously than the respect we deserve as women in the world. I know what I feel, I know what it feels like to be body shamed on a daily basis, and would absolutely never criticize or terminate an employee because of their weight. I'm hurt, but I will not let the good work I've done in the world be overshadowed by this. I want to thank everyone who has reached out in support to lift me up during this difficult time. So that is Lizzo's statement um, and her response to the lawsuit. Um, I did expect Lizzo to come out and make a statement because I think it's only appropriate to do so. Um, I'm concerned personally, in my opinion, she is not addressing head on some of the um, claims and accusations. Like if I didn't do it, I would just say I didn't do it, you know, but lawyers get involved and they, you know, form these statements and publicists get involved and they form these safe statements. But in the event that you did not do any of these things, I would just say, I didn't do it. It's not true. So that always gives me pause, you know? It, it always makes me wonder what's here and what's happening based on this statement um, and the fact that uh, the women are starting to come out and speak. I wouldn't be surprised if this case is settled out of court, to be perfectly honest, because I think the best thing to do um, for everyone involved is just to shut it down and make it go away. Um, and whatever is happening with Lizzo's camps, if there is some places of improvement that need to be made, um, she should probably kind of just, you know, squash this lawsuit, settle with them and move forward and make sure that the appropriate changes are made. Um, again, I would definitely look into the dance captain and really consider if that's somebody that you want to keep on your team. Two of the dancers, they went live to address some of the things that happened. So I want you guys to see that as well. These 
demands or suggestions made by Lizzo, as you say, um, were they direct where they said, we, I really want you to do it? Or was it more, I'm afraid if I don't, I might get fired? Yeah, um, I think for uh, for both of us, there was like this always looming um, feeling of thinking that if you didn't do something or you didn't adhere to certain uh, suggestions or demands that your job could be in jeopardy. I mean, there have been specific instances of, for example, whenever we uh, were in contact with our agents and we were trying to negotiate receiving a retainer while we were working with the team, um, things kind of started being more tense um, in the work environment, more hostile. So right off the bat, we kind of already felt like the energy was shifting. Um, and after negotiations for uh, retainers began, uh, we got an email uh, before one of the shows, uh, basically from her, uh, somebody from her management team um, saying that the way that we have been acting was unprofessional and the attitudes that we were exhibiting um, on the job was unacceptable and that it could be ground grounds for termination. And that's just one specific instance uh, that we went through in regards to uh, working with the team. There is so many instances where um, dancers who did, you know, have fun with her and, you know, um, go along with like what she was doing and, you know, be down for anything that they were, they were favored, they were hired for more shows, they were invited on, you know, like private jets and, and to do cool things and, you know, could hang out with her and in like tropical settings like Hawaii and stuff like that. Um, some of our coworkers, you know, it's it's just like there was no line between professionalism and personal. Um, and so we had in our minds that if we weren't, you know, down for anything, that we would then be ostracized later. Um, it was this unspoken thing in the camp that if you um, weren't super fun, like if you did, if you like skipped out on all of the like outings and, you know, mm -hmm. all that stuff that you wouldn't be seen in good favor um, from Lizzo and that you would then not be considered like one of the people that is like cool and down for anything and then therefore not be booked for, for as many jobs. You, um, you mentioned that um, there was some kind of a dispute over a retainer. When you parted company with Lizzo, when both of you parted company with Lizzo, was it just, it just kind of happened? Were you terminated? Did you quit? How, how did the how did separation go? go? Yeah. Uh, yeah, for me, um, mine, my situation was a little bit different than um, Ari's. There was a, a meeting that uh, Lizzo had. It was a more, well, all of our meetings were pretty intense, but this one was a more intense meeting with her, just emphasizing the fact that she wasn't pleased with our performing and that we still weren't dancing up to you know her standards. And basically this was after the intense re-audition that we uh, went through after you know having hours of rehearsal, um, to which she then brought up the allegations of us drinking before shows. I raised my hand to speak. Um, she allowed me to speak. And uh, in that moment, I let her know that you know we never partook Took in those uh, activities, and that we would never put ourselves, her, or the show, or our jobs in jeopardy. Um, and days later, um, her man, her one of her tour managers, uh, terminated me in a hotel lobby. What goes into my um, termination is that I had felt for a really long time that they were questioning um, my abilities uh, due to weight gain. It was never explicitly said, "Hey, you know, you're gaining weight." Um, your job is in jeopardy. It was never that. It was very nuanced. It was very under the rug. And I think that um, language was used to keep from being canceled. Previously, she had said, um, you know, she was worried about me at South by Southwest. And when I was at South by Southwest, that was the first time I had showed up to a Lizzo event or gig, noticeably having gained weight. There was nothing different about me. My performance skills were the same. My demeanor was the same. My energy was the same. The only thing that was different about me was my weight. And in this meeting, she, she stated as well that, you know, dancers get fired for gaining weight. Um, and then she kind of paused and looked at me and I still don't know if she really meant to single me out in that moment. But when she looked at me and she said that I was kind of like, so she's really concerned about my weight. And then, you know, when we had that private meeting, when I was kind of cornered, I, um, 
they kind of wouldn't let me, you know, get away with not telling them something personal. So, um, and a reason why something was wrong with me. So I ended up telling them of that I struggle with, you know, anxiety and depression and that I'm in recovery from, from an eating disorder. And as soon as I said eating disorder, they immediately were like, oh, like in their head, it was making sense as to why I was gaining weight because it had something to do with an eating disorder. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Lizzo, the case, her response and what the dancers had to say? Um, drop me some comments. Let me know what you think. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so you guys are made aware every time I drop a new video. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day. Bye. Call me first. You sure? Hey. Oh my time been off yours, boss. Hey.